Gangguan jalur pasok termasuk keterbatasan supir truk kembali meningkatkan minat terhadap pengembangan truk swa kemudi, termasuk yang dikembangkan Embark Technologies, Waymo di bawah Alphabet, lalu Too Simple yang didirikan pengusaha Tiongkok dan sedang melakukan divestasi asetnya di Tiongkok karena alasan keamanan. Ultimately, everybody in this industry, the key stakeholders, want to see autonomy happen because the value proposition. Right, so enabling freight capacity, everyone needs it today. Supply chain is in trouble. There is a severe driver shortage, increasing cost, environmental, and safety. So I think everyone's very welcoming of having those discussions. Of course, the question is, well, who do you partner with? And that comes down to technology. You know, who has the best technology and who has the clearest path to commercialization? Truk swak kemudi itu simpel memanfaatkan radar dan serangkaian kamera untuk bisa meluncur tanpa supir. December 2021. We did 80 mile, first 80 mile ever drive rail run for trucking. That's something no other competitor has done in the industry. We since done over 500 more miles of drive rail runs. And that's on one lane, but that's a huge milestone. It really means that from here on, we can scale the drive rail operations uh, to more lanes, right? Daytime, nighttime, uh, and more trucks. Masalah yang muncul, baik pengembang truk swa kemudi maupun perusahaan distribusi sama-sama belum siap. Menurut asosiasi operator truk pengangkut barang di Amerika Serikat, Amerika Serikat saat ini kekurangan sekitar 80 ribu supir truk. Dan bila tidak terjadi peremajaan atau tidak ada langkah untuk menambah supir truk, maka angka kekurangan ini bisa berlipat dua pada tahun 2030. Amerika saat itu bisa kekurangan sekitar 160 ribu supir truk. Angkanya bisa mencapai 1 juta dalam 10 tahun. Uh, the capacity challenges are largely driven by the shortage of drivers. And so we see an opportunity over time, over uh, uh, several years here, to have an additional opportunity uh, to provide capacity through vehicles that eventually will be unmanned. Menurut analis, truk tanpa supir memiliki keunggulan sendiri, terutama untuk rute-rute panjang. I mean, this will just be a, still a fraction of all the trucking that goes on in the U.S., uh, but a significant amount, a significant enough that we think we would have a competitive advantage because we can run routes um, without having to have the drivers stop to take their breaks. Uh, we could run a truck continuously from one major city to another and reduce transit times, move product faster from one region of the country to another. Tapi pengemudi tetap diperlukan untuk perjalanan relatif singkat tapi dengan rute lebih kompleks. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.